What's going on guys, Galazak here, and to today's video, we will be building the duck pond. It's quite a cold, muggy day. It's split a little bit, you can see fog covering all the mountains over there, but it is locked down here in New Zealand, and we don't know for how long, it could be weeks, they keep just extending it. So, what we better to do then, to start doing the duck pond. So, we are first going to move everything, because this whole area will all be the duck pen. Starting from the corner of the chicken pen, going on a diagonal out this way, pretty much directly up to this tree, and to the corner of the concrete pad over here. So, it will be this whole big area, as well as behind the tree there, all that, and it is a massive space. So we're just going to move all the poles, the rocks, everything out of here, move all the rocks onto the concrete pad and stuff, and start digging the pond. So water. moving a few rocks, the chickens have been fed over there, they have all their food there, but they're more curious in getting all the bugs and the dirt from moving all of the rocks over here, which they are loving. But I'm just organizing the big massive rocks first, and going back into the more smaller rocks, so the bigger rocks we would need first, to get the on the first shelf of the pond to get them all nice and then the smaller all gravelly rocks just in everywhere else got to get a bunch more of the massive rocks but these ones are here for easy access for now and then we'll just pile up the small ones there okay it has been rainy all day you can't even see any of the mountain or hills back there chickens are all wet but doing very good all just had their food and I have been slowly digging the pond. We mapped it out to see the shape of it and how big we can do with the pond liner we are getting. And we are getting two pond liners. We're getting a big one for all of here. We have marked the outline, as you can see around here, of the size of the pond. That is just digging out the middle a bit to get a sense of the shelf that we are gonna have and just seeing how easy it is to dig. So. The next few sunny days I'll be able to dig this whole thing out and we're piling the dirt over here because we're going to get a second liner, a bit smaller liner, but we are going to dig this out like a second pond once it's all mounded up. So it's like an elevated pond that will fall waterfall into here and we'll put a bunch of pebbles and plants and stuff into this area as a bog filter. So we'll have a skimmer all the way down there that'll pump the water all the way back up to here and go through the bog filter so it will get so much filtration and go back into this big pond that the ducks will very much appreciate that the chickens are loving the worms right now. So next sunny day I'll come back and start digging a bit more but I'll run a time lapse of that. So that was a lot of work, but we've got the level of the first shelf all dug out. I've just um, cleaned up the edges to make all the edges straight, as you can see around there. Just got to scoop up all that dirt. Quali's in there, probably going to dig all that dirt around, but that's all good, helping me dig. But the pond is looking good. It is pretty big, and yeah, the ducks will love this. Now it's time to clear out all that dirt and then start digging down, leaving a shelf but digging all the rest to that depth. So now that is all cleaned up and it looks amazing. Good sized pond. And over here, just working out where the bog filter is going, we are gonna dig more and push it back this way because it's gonna be about one and a half meters that way and two and a half about meters going down, waterfalling into the pond on this corner here. And that's gonna look awesome with a bunch of plants growing out the bog filter. Mm -hmm. 
So I am so sorry, but some of the footage was lost. But basically what happened between these two clips that you'll be seeing is we took out the cherry tree because it is poisonous to all the animals. So we dug that all out and also we started digging in some of the poles, most of them actually. So I'll cut to all of that now. So we have got the last pole on this row done and it is looking amazing. All the poles are there got the door that will be going right there and from here the duck tent looks absolutely massive and beautiful now we've just got to start doing some poles down the side here doing their house in this area here and then we'll be done off the poles so we've got a lot more poles in back here almost done just got to do two more poles one at the corner one in there then we've got to attach this fence piece that we've got back there in there for the duck house and back over to here we are getting all the mesh on we've got this stuff as you see it's a lot taller than the chicken pen because we can't have the goats jumping into here because georgie can clear that but won't be able to clear this so we have just got a bunch of massive rolls of mesh and putting it all along here and yeah, it's looking awesome. It's hard work, but now I've just got to get the rest of the mesh all the way around. So we have now got all the mesh in on the poles, but still haven't done around there yet. But yeah, goats over here playing with each other. Just got to monitor them because they're a bit rough. But yeah, got that. And now over here, we're just planting some yuccas scattered around and a nice big ake ake which is an NZ native tree, which are beautiful, just to fill in this gap here. So there's the ake ake tree, got a nice little root ball on them, but yeah, nice purple variety, which that will look awesome. Got crinkle leaf and it'll die back a bit, but it should come back very beautiful. And that nice big tree should do well all up along there. Nice, nice bushy one as well. So I have it dug in now, it looks absolutely beautiful, grows up nice tall and bushy in there and then when that comes in with all its leaves and stuff now that it's spring, it should get nice and bushy and absolutely beautiful but adds a bit to the ground level for the twigs and stuff so it's not just all trunks but now we're just going to scatter a few, just a few yuccas around the base of that and see how that does. Georgie will strip the bottom leaves but that's all good, they did leaves so he shouldn't eat too many of them or knock it over which is good. So we have a bunch of yucca here that we're going to put in the chicken pen. The bottom leaves are starting to die but we can just strip them back like that one over here and just plant the big trunk in the ground as roots will grow from there. So yeah the tops are pretty healthy and yeah if we just strip that we can plant them in nice. See just look at the difference from when you strip them. See these look dead too far gone but no when you strip the bottom and all the dead ones they look perfectly healthy and just need to plant that so the roots can grow but yeah gotta do that to rest and they will look absolutely amazing and look at that the chicken's already loving it scratching around in the new dug dirt but just a bit of green in the bottom still got one yucca to put probably between these trees here but yeah, yeah just a bit of green in the bottom section looks absolutely beautiful so thank you guys so much for watching this video the duck pen is coming along great in the next video we should hopefully do all the pond wire and start to do the pond itself and then plant all around it so that should be further in the future though as we're doing a bunch of other stuff and other videos first because we have a lot going on here i have like five videos prepared to upload for you guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time